I'm down in the basement here. I, I had to do this. Yeah, you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. It's kind of a ask me anything type video while I take you through my day. A Q&A vlog, if you will. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's going to be interesting. So we're going to be going for a swim. And then we're going to come back upstairs. I'm going to show you what I'm doing with my beard right now to get it in perfect order, if you will. Right now it's messy because I just woke up. And as you can also hear, because in the morning my voice is usually a little bit lower. We're going to... Then we're gonna make ourselves some tea. We're gonna uh, do some administrative work. We're gonna do some accessory work as well I went to the gym the other day uh, But I wasn't able to hit my body parts with the you know most sufficient amount of volume So I'm going to finalize that and then I'm gonna you know kind of also give you some little Mindset stuff that, I'm, that I've been thinking of recently that gets me through my day Hopefully uh, will help to kind of reconceptualize the landscape around you. So let's get into our day all right, so as this is a style channel, I'll let you know that what I'm wearing today. So, first off, we got a Modern Series Slim Fit Chino from Lee. One of the best chinos I've ever worn in my life, I swear to God, guys. These are some of the most comfortable, flexible, uh, well, it takes a few weeks to kind of wear them in, but once you've kind of worn them for about a week or so, you know, it really, really starts, uh, you know, becoming this really soft, flexible fabric that just really uh, complements <laughs> all your features. Let's let's put it that way. And I'm going today. I'm going to be coupling it with this lovely sweatshirt from H and M. Boom! Just a beautiful outfit to wear at home, guys. These chinos just fit so incredibly well. They are so comfortable. This top absolutely just ties it all together I think and of course I've tied it all together with a nice synthetic synthetic leather um, American Eagle belt and then also some summer tie dress socks <laughs> of the flamingo variety I love I'm really kind of a strange sock connoisseur I'm gonna drop uh, the link for these summer tie socks down in the description I think yeah, you know, having uh, socks that kind of suit, uh, you know, your wackiness is another way to express yourself. So let's start getting ready for that swim. I'm going to make myself some tea and we're going to go for a swim and we're going to start answering some of those questions. So I figured this would be a good time to answer our first question from Mattis Henner. Uh, and he asks, what diet do you follow, if any? Because I'm making breakfast right now. Uh, and to answer that question, well, right now, in terms of diet protocol, I am doing intermittent fasting because I'm trying to lose weight. I stepped on the scale this morning at 176.5 pounds. So I'm going to maintain that weight for a little bit now uh, until I can no longer, you know, get stronger at my current amount of calories and then I'm going to start eating breakfast a little earlier so then therefore I'll be able to you know fit in more calories throughout the day and in terms of you know the food the variety of foods I eat I eat a plant-based diet but that's not super super important uh, but what is important lads is Dave's killer bread <laughs> challenge of the day lads name a more badass brand than Dave's killer bread oh wait <laughs> it's not only just meme worthy stuff guys. This is really good freaking bread. I've seen it in the States too I'm in Canada here uh, here in Ottawa Ontario, I don't know if that's too bright, but um, if you see Dave's killer bread go come pick it up All right, so as I uh, Sit here eat my tofu burger here I'm gonna answer yet another question from a Mr. David Molesky. I'm gonna put the link to Dave's channel right up here. Go check it out, he, uh, he has a great channel with his brother. And his question is, well, what advice would you give to your younger self? So, one thing stands out predominantly, and I think it's something that's changed my life, a slight tweaking 
of thought when it comes to my attitude towards my emotions. And I think this could be helpful for pretty much anyone watching right now. We as men in society, unfortunately, we're told that, uh, well, there's, there's two people telling us two different things. There's the people that tell us to be vulnerable. And then once we're vulnerable, they tell us that, you know, oh, okay, no, 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 that's not okay. You're being too vulnerable. And then they'll shame you for that vulnerability. And there's the other person that'll just tell you outright that your emotions aren't valid if uh, they're not coming from a 100% logical place of existence, then you are simply uh, wasting your emotional energy. You shouldn't be focusing on those emotions. Just throw them out the window, lock them up. They are of no use to you, right? And I'm not saying that every single emotion is completely 100% logical in an objective sense. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that there is a slight tweak that most people have to do that is going to help you greatly because every cognitive therapist will tell you the exact same thing. And that is that you have to treat every emotion as if it is rational, right? You are, you are going to destroy yourself if you tell yourself, Oh, yes, today I'm feeling very anxious, and I know why it is. I can identify why I am feeling anxious, but that is just stupid, right? You know, Sally gave me a weird look, and now I'm feeling anxious. That's stupid, so I'm going to throw it out, right? No, what you have to identify to yourself is first, what is that emotion? Right? So identify the emotion and identify the patterns as well. I find personally that on Tuesdays, I am just depressed. Right? And for the longest time, I was just like, fuck it, okay, I'm just gonna f forget that it even exists. And because it's not rational, it's, it, it'll go away soon. But it never did. <laughs> Those things never went away. And once I started going, okay, I feel shame today. It is Tuesday, and I feel shame. And that is okay. And this happens every Tuesday. Then I was like, huh, interesting. And <laughs> you can see a metaphorical weight off my shoulders just raise. And I weighed 50 pounds lighter that day. <laughs> so identify your emotions, uh, pinpoint them, and tell yourself, okay, they're okay, even if they don't uh, come from the most logical place in the world. Uh, every kind of therapist will tell you this. So. I'm going to go ready. I'm, going to, I'm getting ready to go swimming, so, and I'll answer a few more questions there. All right, as I'm uh, walking out the door here, Mr. CJR says, Hey, be beard looks great, Kaz. Uh, are you still applying minoxidil? Well, CJR, no, I am not. For the past two or so months now, I have not been applying minoxidil. I am going to be recording a video today uh, explaining why I haven't been applying minoxidil uh, and my you know, my uh, plans, my minoxidil plans in the future there. So hopefully you guys will keep your eyes peeled for that particular video. There's too much to explain for this <laughs> short vloggy type video. Uh, so let's uh, go down to that uh, w w water machine. Sleds. So, it's another question. I forget the name of the user because, well, I'm in the pool. <laughs> um, but he's all like, you know, I have a, a, an 11 month beard. After about 15 minutes after styling, my beard completely falls apart, right? It, it, it no longer maintains its integrity. Well, I used to have the exact same issue. I um, used to use only a blow dryer like you. And unfortunately, what happens with the blow dryer, personally, like I, I would manipulate it in as many directions as I possibly could. I would, uh, you know, uh, add bomb into the equation. And unfortunately, when uh, the, the only man that could really get away with rocking uh, blow dryer only beards are the ones that you know have beards <laughs> all the way down to here. I find, right, uh, because the weight kind of just establishes the beard. By itself, but unfortunately, when you have a beard that's not quite super long, it's like mine. Mine's at like I don't know four and a quarter inches right now. I haven't measured it recently, but once I added the heat brush into the equation, 
uh, it really changed everything because what the heat brush does is it, is it actually creates the straightness. I do recommend my uh, the video that I'm going to be linking right up here. If you use that uh, routine, hopefully your beard will stay styled for longer. So let's uh, do a little bit of swimming. My sauna. Oh yeah, yeah. This uh, sauna belongs to me. No, <laughs> belongs to the building. So um, I'm going to answer the other half of Matt Hennis's question, which I didn't get around to earlier. I believe Matt Hennis said something along the lines of, "Did you experience any metoxidol shading? And if so, how did you deal with it?" Or something along those lines. So I will uh, address that. And I have, in the past, uh, I have addressed whether I've had shedding. I had quite a few crazy shedding phases. And as you can see, guys, yeah, like, I'm getting quite a bit of shedding once again, now that I am off minoxidil. So you can probably see, uh, you know, what I'm going to do next. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to give my full explanation in the video that I filmed today. But... Really, all you can, all you guys can really do when you are shedding on minoxidil is to keep con consistently applying it. Like it is a huge pain in the ass. Like like shedding really really sucks. Like uh, I think even I, uh, uh, when I was doing my minoxidil transformation, man, like I would go to the minox period spot and I'd be like, guys, <laughs> like help. <laughs> I'm uh, I I'm an ego death right now because my, my beard was nice and full at the time and then once that shitting kicks in you know the, that cheek line just goes to shit man like it's pretty good like the right side of my cheek line is pretty good but you know uh, sometimes the left side of my cheek line just went to absolute freaking shit right so and, it, and that was always extremely demotivating but the only thing you can really do guys is uh, just apply consistently through it's twice a day, uh, you know, one one milliliter twice a day, and just uh, if you can do things like normal rolling, and you know if you're getting subpar results, then maybe uh, in integrate something like uh, L-carnitine, L-tartrate, or something like that. I'm going to be, uh, you know, in, in the face of all these questions I've been receiving about minoxidil, I am. Of compiling a minoxidil guide, quite like the one, the FAQ section of the Minox Beard Spot, but a little different. I'm going to be going for a slightly different angle um, that they have gone for, but I'm going to be compiling a guide and I'm going to attach it to my group, Beards, Barbells, and Banners, so then I can refer people to that guide. So rather than having to address every single question every time it comes up, I can go, hey, go take a look at my guide. So you can see that coming from me in the near future. I'm down in the basement here. I, I had to do this. Yeah, you'll see what I mean. See, no regrets there, guys. Man, today's fun. Yeah, you know, just do, just do something crazy and awesome every single day, you know. You only live once. So, uh, I'm about to take a shower. And before I was taking, I was about to take a shower, my buddy Carl, my, my buddy Charlie calls me up and he's like, Hey, we got the couch for you. Oh, great. Uh, so, so we brought it up and uh, <laughs> this is what happened. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> This is how much room we got to go to our closet. 
this this is why you ask for uh, me measurements and such uh, before you uh, get furniture. What, what, what a what a concept! But I I, I know what to do. Uh, I think we're just gonna have to um, take this. Um, Bring it over into the next room over here. We have a porch area out here. So I think we're going to switch this couch out with that couch. Um, and if you guys don't know yet, we like we just moved recently. And that's why everything looks all um, scattered about. But yeah, let's uh, step into that shower, shall we? All right, so here's the beard styling y'all y'all have been waiting for. If you're watching the vlog, then uh, it's very likely you're not gonna you're only gonna get the highlights. But if you click up here, you know you're gonna watch the whole video where it actually give you the full tutorial step by step. So uh, depending on which one you want to watch, you know, uh, adjust your actions accordingly. So let's get right into it. Here's the uh, byproduct of all my hard work. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm looking upon my workout place. Yesterday I couldn't hit everything. I, I couldn't hit uh, rear delts, biceps, and abs. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that right here. Uh, I'm gonna do some planks, curls, um, and then also I got my laptop here. I've, I've been I've been realizing that I've been very bad about adding notation you know, annotations to my videos. Uh, like I always go, hey, check out this video up here. That's that's pretty cool, eh? But then there's nothing there. <laughs> so I'm gonna go past. I'm gonna th go through my, like my past five plus videos and be and make sure that the annotations actually are there because I've been getting complaints about it and then I'm also going to edit a video so uh, <laughs> let's start working out huh Oh shit! All right, we got ourselves a diffuser. What kind of <laughs> what kind of hipster shit is that? Huh? I actually don't know. Makes the air smell good. We like we like things that smell good. We like candles. We like uh, you know uh, essential oil smells. And <laughs> this is kind of a weird branding on the side there. Got a home weights. Sleep and meditation. I suppose that's Yeah, and it comes with a bunch of oils too. Cool. I'll uh, put this in the description if you guys are interested. Just kind of um, Purifies the air is so they say um, Here's all the oils I believe all, oil, all the oil samplers Oh, -ho. Andrew Here's the diffuser itself. Pretty uh, standard looking. Oh man, the, the oil smells so good. Oh. <laughs> All right, lads. I think I'm gonna have to um, end this vlog on that particular note. Uh, hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed this um, vlog. I, I, I think I really like it. I'm able to kind of put everything that I've always wanted into a video, you know, show you guys what I'm about a little bit, uh, you know, kind of my daily routine, how much I, how much time I put into you guys. <laughs> no, just kidding. I don't think about it that way. Um, you know, how much time I put into my work and how much 
uh, you know, all the little things I do, uh, my little mindset tips that I use to get through the day, uh, and you know, also my genuine intention to an to answer your questions and uh, you know, in the most genuine way possible. So, guys, if you liked it, please like, share, subscribe. Honestly, it wasn't that hard to make. <laughs> you would assume that something like this would be hard to make, but it's pretty easy. Now, I'll probably make a few more. Uh, next one will probably be in the form of a house tour. All right, lads. Cheers.